Hello, fellow teachers, homeschool moms, or even homeschool dads. I'm going to want to share this again with two cute classrooms. And today, we're going to talk about some time-saving hacks, some ways that you can save time that you may not have thrown up. I am one of the worst at being able to manage time when it comes to getting to work. So I've been working on it. And if you saw my post on Instagram, you saw some tips that they gave me on things I could do in order for me to get out of my house on time. These are not those things, but I'm going to share some quick tips with you. Tip number one, wear black pants. I know you're saying wear black pants. What does wearing black pants have to do with time uh, management? Well, wearing black pants will save you a lot of time because if you're wearing black pants every day of the week, then you don't have to worry about what you're going to wear and how it's going to look. And I actually got that time saving hack from my cousin. She has been doing that for years. Black pants every day that will save you time. So you don't have to wonder about what you're wearing. You can add any top you want to um, to those pants, but black pants. A next time saving hack is, of course, you can buy socks of the same color, or the exact same sock. You can get seven pair of the exact same sock. That way, you don't have to worry about losing a match or looking for matches when it's time to go to work. You have a match because they're all the same. Just throw them in a the dryer and don't worry about it. Socks, same color socks. Whether you choose all black socks, whether you choose all white socks, either way, all of the socks are the same. Another time saving hack that you may not have thought of is to batch your lesson plans. Yes, teachers, batch your lesson plans. I know I preach this over and over again, but batch your lesson plans. No, you don't say the same thing over and over again because that's going to get you in trouble with your principal in your school district. But what you can do is you batch those plans. You go ahead and do those lesson plans early. You make sure you fill in the bones. The things that you're going to do over and over again, like your supplies that you're going to need for your lesson, you, uh, most of the time they're going to be generally the same thing. So add those. You might want to tweak them a little bit later, but do that. Make sure you know your objectives so that way you don't have to change out a whole lot will save you a lot of time. My suggestion is, for me, I can't go past about two weeks because then something may happen and I need to change things around a whole lot. But about two to three weeks worth of lesson plans and that should give you room to breathe. Another hack that you might want to try is to work with a co-worker on your lessons or on running off the material. If you have a person that's in the same team with you, and you are the same grade level, and you're teaching the same thing, then one of you can be in charge of making the copies and make sure everything is stacked and ready to roll. Another tip, back to clothes, is to buy shirts, plain shirts like T-shirts, um, not really T-shirts, but those dressy shirts that are on the same style that you can wear over and over again that will save you money. Plus, it will save you time because you don't have to figure out what you're wearing. Again, reach it to your closet, grab those out, pair them with your black pants, and you're ready to go. Again, this is LaWanda Shields with Two Good Classrooms giving you some time-saving hacks for teachers. So be sure to like, give this a thumbs up, to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you again in the next video.